So let's go through all these Anthony. things that just happened. Get a two shot. There we uh, go. He sounds tired. Sounds exhausted. Yeah. And he's also really bad at, at reading. I, I, for those of you who think he sounded sick or checked out right there, go back and look at any prepared, like the one just from the other night. Yep. Any mm -hmm. prepared speech he's ever read, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. He's the worst at it. He's like me. He just, keeps, he just looks down and fucking reads off the paper the whole time. So I wouldn't read too much into that. Anyways, <coughs> the national state of emergency we all expected. Mm -hmm. And what it does is, like he said, it opens up about 50 billion. I think it's called, uh, fuck, what is the name of that act? Uh, pff, Randall Act or something like that that opens up federal funding to uh, state governments and local municipalities for stuff like this, as well as hospitals. Um, the other salient thing you said about what that little short dude was just talking about, uh, about relaxing medical rules. So a lot of you who have... Um, have ever dealt with cross state line medical stuff? Stafford Act. Sorry, to Stafford Act. That's sorry it. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. Um, no. <clears throat> um, a doctor technically has to be licensed in that state to treat mm. you and prescribe medicine, but mm -hmm. this emergency man or this this relaxes that standard. So you can do teleconference stuff, and then he can prescribe your medicine over the phone. You can go pick it up, or it can be drop shipped to your house. That's okay. what that does. Gotcha. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the well, other the other part about enacting emergency manage and management protocols this harkens back to and I, I just happened to have like worked for Homeland Security and done emergency management before that's why I know this but mm -hmm. um, during Katrina Bush and his team didn't do a great job there like Bush wrongly expected all the people in place to be good at their jobs and they weren't so I don't think it was really his fault but uh, they weren't good and one of the big lessons they learned, and I actually wrote a paper in college about this, was that why try to let FEMA set up a whole new distribution system for supplies and shit like that? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh, Dan, you're not quelling anybody's fears here huh? in the audience. Corona boy. It's fine. I don't, it's, I, mine's a wet cough. <laughs> oh. Super wet. It's a cough, Yummy. actually. It's a cough because I smoked a shitload of weed earlier. Um, <clears throat> anyways. Yeah, so basically what it does is uh, they take companies like Walmart, who has mm -hmm. a huge distribution network nationwide, Walgreens, same deal. And they say, hey, we're going to fucking subsidize this through you. You do all the work, we'll pay you for it, instead of having to set something up from scratch. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Okay. That's pretty much it. That's, that's really all that just happened right there. There was, there was one major thing that I was <clears throat> expecting that didn't happen, though, in this. Um, he did not shut down airlines in the United States. No. There's okay. no reason to do that. Okay. Um, because that was speculation before this started today. By the way, if you if you are invested in the stock market right now, do. go find any publicly traded airline and spend money because they dipped the last six days in a row and they're going to go up tomorrow. Well, the market right now, uh, and I wonder if this is part of why he pushed this a half hour, because the market closes at four. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so That's he, why I said tomorrow. Right. So during uh, the point where right before he went on to right now, the market has currently risen 500 more points. It is up to 1,400 points going yeah. up right now. <clears throat> you got 10 minutes. I wonder if he did that knowing that the closing bell was coming up yeah. and it was just like, of hey, man, did, for yeah. investors. Um, because well, that and wrangling these nine fucking dickholes that were on stage is not easy either. Is Apple is up ten percent right now. In I'm just telling the last you, last thirty minutes. If you if you have money in a fucking brokerage account right now, call your broker and tell them to put all of it into airlines because those specifically are going to go up uh, between now and Wednesday. Probably it's like usually a three to four day drag. Oof! American Airlines is currently at fourteen dollars a share. Um, there you it, go. It went up. It went up fifty cents. So I bet it's. I mean, like now there's no time. There's only nine minutes left in the trading day. Right. But Monday. Like if you can get mm, your, if you can, right. Well, you have the entire weekend. Well, it could be good or bad, and I'll tell you why. Because something could fucked up ha happen this weekend that could change it mm. to go. Just wait until Sunday night, then. It's a tough, uh, it's a tough risk right now. But uh, God, American Airlines fourteen dollars. So I used to own American Airlines stock about mm, four, four and a half years ago. Yeah, and it was <clears> right around forty eight. It's the time. it's been so up and down. Yeah, like that airline specifically, American. Has yeah. been up and down. United has taken well, it's a real hit. shitty as well. Yeah, it is. Minus the coronavirus. United has taken some hits from dragging people off planes and shit like that. But American yeah. just keeps having weird issues. Uh, I don't know what their deal is. But right now, if I were you, I would go put money 
and to airlines. All right, you heard it from Dan. That's a short. Dan that's only. a that's a short term play. They're fourteen right now, or fourteen fifty right now. For uh, American Dan, Dan Holloway's opinions are his of his own and not the opinions of Drinking Bros Podcast. We have to legally say that for you. We don't. Um, so we put that out there. 